how to control simulated Z-Wave devices from Unify ZPC. So this is a work in progress and I'm showing parallel implementation of user credential. So the first part is the implementation of user credential on the devices, the nodes. So to do it, you need to clone uh, the user credential development branch from GitHub, assuming you are a Z-Wave Alliance member and then you can build a stack and all the sample apps uh, which are running on Linux. So there are the, a few apps showing different implementation of common classes and we start with the most important one which is a Z-Wave Serial API Network Controller. So you can start it and uh, you can start a second Z-Wave device which is a door lock showing the implementation of the user credential. But those apps don't see each other. You need to connect them and then to control them. So we are using doing about to do this with Unify and this is also a work in progress uh, branch for user credential. So once you have cloned it, you can read the instruction for Unify. It will build all the protocol controllers or you can just select uh, what you need for Z-Wave. And that's what I've done with my helper script you can reuse. So it will build uh, the Z-Wave uh, protocol controller, ZPC, and also this uh, UI. And uh, the ZPC um, is also a standalone application you can run from your shell, but you cannot make any use because you expect to have a, a real uh, Z-Wave device connected on USB as a network uh, protocol controller. So the magic here is that you remember this uh, application we run, our um, providing Z-Wave emulation through Unix socket and uh, those apps are running on a specific port and you can bind this Unix socket to a file which has some specific um, serial characteristics. So a socket command can help you to do this. It will uh, create a, a fake file that will connect to the socket and act as if it was a, an actual USB UART link. So you need to pass the device file to ZPC serial command and also we can add some mapping rules that uh, provide uh, abstraction to Unify cluster library and this is what we are showing with uh, dev UI. But first let's start the controller. You see um, the controller is detected, the version is 23, that's the master branch currently and uh, it will list also the network uh, keys and uh, security keys of uh, and also all the command class supported and you'll see among all of them there is also experimental support of user credential. So from the shell you can uh, use some commands and the uh, Z-Wave command can tell you for instance the home ID is a simple one. You can do a lot more but uh, what I show you is how to do it uh, with a nice user, user interface. So the Unify is actually uh, powered by MQTT bus where all applications are talking together. So you can start this uh, web app, it's a React and it queries the MQTT bus and it sees the controller in ideal state. So we had a node, so that's done outside and we need uh, on the door, the keypad to start to toggle it to learn mode. And once it's done, it to in be included, it asks uh, first digit of the device security key. So we copy those uh, five uh, digits. And uh, then the device will be interviewing to detect what common class it is supporting. And it's detected as a lock and uh, also once it's uh, over, the device is functional and if you go to the user credential view, you see the node device listed there. So there is uh, only one user, which is the admin, and we can try to create more. For instance, we can create a second uh, user with the name of Mr. 2 and uh, then it will uh, issue a command and get the report. Then we can also add a credential for a specific user. So we are selecting the second one we just created. We need to select uh, a slot and uh, the first one and we can use 2222 as uh, data. So it's created as expected. And uh, then you can modify user or credential or even de delete so delete the user you just created. So that's done. That's a very basic uh, demo, but it's a good starting of showing how you can implement uh, Z-Wave 
uh, chain without uh, actual devices. So feel free to ask for help. I would be happy to share hints at this GitHub address.